Okay, this is the 2005 Volkswagen Jetta. First thing we'll do, we'll start her up. No issues starting up. Starts right up. We'll pop the hood. You can see the engine bay is very clean. I don't hear any knocking in the motor. It's not running rough. Show you a few other things here. On the hood here, I'm not sure, hopefully, you can see it too well, but um, there are a few low spot scents in the hood. It looks like possible hail damage. Also, lots of road chipping. Down here on the bumper, you can see there's some stress cracks here in the paint. Also, a crack in the bumper here as well as the chrome piece. And then again, you can see more road scratching in the bumper. Over here, you can see the bumper has a few damage, it's pushed out. Some minor scratching in this area. You can see some paint chipping. Over here on the door, you can see some scratches. There's a few scratches in the uh, within the clear here. Same on this side, you can see scratches in the clear. Here's a bit of a deeper scratch right here. roof here and again you can see some minor scratching back here some more minor scratching within the clear a few deep ones like right here over here down here on the bumper you can see there's some paint scuffing. There's a small crack right here. Back here on the trunk lid, you can see some scratches right here. Some more right in this area, a few deeper ones. Some more stress cracking right here on the bumper. Down here, you have a scratch. Another one right here. Some scratching on the hood right here. Some of these look a little deep. And that's all I see for imperfections on the outside. We'll go ahead, we'll show you the in start showing the, the rest of the inside here. We'll start off with the trunk. And here inside the trunk, we have your factory carpet mats. And then we also have your all-weather mats. There's a full set for, for each set. It's 
locked. I'll hit the unlock button. The unlock button works. As you can see, very clean interior. There's no rips or tears in the seats. I don't see any stains. Maybe you three seat belts. And these seats do fold down. Comes up just like that. Down. But you have to take this out. We're not going to do that though. But they do fold down. You see the passenger, the front, I'm sorry, the driver's seat here is fully intact. I don't see any rips, no stains, no cigarette hole, burn holes. And then same for our passenger seat here. You can see that there are no stains, no tears, and again, no cigarette burn holes. Over here on the door, you can see this fabric is coming a little loose. Still intact, but right down inside here, seems the glue inside is wearing off. And then the same for this door here. This is actually coming out a little bit. And you can see it's hanging here. Still inside, intact up top here, but it's coming out, starting to peel off right there. Okay, I think we're ready for a test drive. Put our seatbelt on. Horn works. So does our radio. Reverse is good. And as I was shifting from park to reverse, from reverse to drive, I didn't feel any jumping in the transmission. No hesitation. Everything it shifted very smoothly into gear. And as I'm driving and then shifting through gears, I don't feel any jumps. Again, no hesitations. It is shifting very smoothly, as it should. Our windshield wipers work. Brakes feel good. Try the uh, AC now. Feels like the AC may need a recharge. I'm pushing the button down here and it's not lightening up so I'm not too I don't know if it's that not working or the AC just needs a recharge switch to the heat now oh yeah the heater is definitely working blowing out very hot
feels like it has very good pickup. It doesn't seem to be pulling to the left or to the right. But not least, we'll do a quick light check, make sure all of our lights are working. So the headlights and our right turn signal is working, as well as our side marker light. And our rear right turn signal is working as well as the running lights. You see here, our side turn light is working. As well as our front and left turn signal and high beams. and our rear left turn signal is operating. Also the tires, you can see the tires are like new, almost new. Plenty of tread left in them. Okay, and one last thing I would like to mention about the vehicle is that it was brought to us as a trade-in uh, and as the customer, customer has stated that he recently replaced the catalytic converter as well as the rear shocks. I hope, I believe that's everything now so I hope this video has answered any questions you may have about the vehicle.